Solving a two-step equation that has fractions is not any different from solving any other two-step equation. So let's look at the problem 1 3rd x plus 11 is equal to 7. To represent 1 3rd, I'm going to literally have 1 3rd of an x. Then I will add positive 11 units to this side of the balance and positive 7 units to the other. Looking at this problem, is our final answer going to be positive or negative? Thinking about what the solution should look like helps us decide whether our answer makes sense or not. To solve this problem, I'm going to need to get x by itself. I need to remove 11 from each side of the equation, but there's only 7 units on the other side. So I will need to add negative 11 to both sides of the balance, or on paper, I will need to add negative 11 to both sides of the equation. 11 plus negative 11 equals 0, and 7 plus negative 11 is negative 4 leaving 1 3rd x on this side of the balance and negative 4 on the other. I wonder what a whole x would be. Well, I know that 1 3rd x is equal to negative 4, so 2 thirds x is equal to negative 8, and if I add another third of an x, I would get another negative 4. Well, 3 thirds is the same thing as 1, so 1x is equal to negative 12. If I was to do that on paper, I would simply multiply both sides of the equation by 3. 3 times a third is 1, and 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. Did you realize that the answer was going to be negative? The last step is to check our work. So we go back to the original equation and substitute negative 12 for x. 1 third of negative 12 is negative 4, and when we add 11 to that, we get 7. So there's 7 on both sides of the equation, therefore it balances and the problem checks.